Hey, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com, and today I'm going to compare and contrast two torque screwdrivers. This is the Wera, and this is the Weha torque screwdriver. And so let's just get a general idea of what's going on. Now, now torque screwdrivers have suddenly become very important because NEC 2020-110.14D, which is called Terminal Connection Torque, demands that certain terminals in electrical work be torqued, like in panels. And basically, it's going to go from uh, approximately 20 inch pounds all the way to 275 inch pounds. And so the torque screwdrivers are for the lower end. Therefore, 20 inch pounds to say uh, 55, 60 inch pounds. And these are two of the best best ones on the market right here. Uh, there's cheaper ones, but these are these are both made in Germany. They're both uh, uh, very high quality. So let's let's start with the Wera. Okay, so this one uh, goes from 25 inch pounds to 55 inch pounds. You change the inch pounds by see I just pull this tool out of the handle, which is a nice feature. And you change your inch pounds right here and it has a stop at every two and a half inch pounds see right now it's at 27 and a half there's 30 inch pounds and so forth it goes all the way to 55 I put it back to 25 that's 27 and a half again so there's there's 25 inch pounds we'll put it right back in there and you heard uh, it has a real nice click an audible click that tells you when you reach 25 inch pounds see that's a it's a real nice audible click there and also even though these are preset at every two and a half inch pounds you can stop in between those presets uh, you know uh say say you want 26 inch pounds well you, you just go a little bit past the 25 preset and that'll be 26. so it doesn't come with any uh bits but you can use any quarter inch bit I actually got this out of my Milwaukee uh, ratcheting screwdriver. She has a bunch of nice bits in there. And I like the longer bits uh, so you can use these in electrical panels without banging up your knuckles. So uh, any bit, but this is not insulated. This is not an insulated tool. This would be very useful uh, for uh, building a uh, panel, you know, with, with all your connections and so forth with the electricity completely off uh, so it's valuable uh, for that reason so uh, 25 to 55 inch pounds okay let's bring on the viha uh, in german you you would say viha in uh, english you'd probably want to say weha because it's easier okay so this one has a tool that comes with it like this and it has a case Okay, that this tool goes in the case. It's not as handy as the one being in the handle of the Veta, which is probably how you'd say it in German. We just pretty much universally say Wera here in the United States. So anyway, the the torquing tool goes right in like that. It goes just like that. Okay, so that's 50 inch pounds. Now this is 18 to 62 inch pounds. So this has a a bigger range than the Wera, 18 to 62. So we're going this way now. This 48. Now, if you wanted to do 49, you just stop right in between the 50 and the 48. But it has numbers every two inch pounds. Then there's 46. So let's go to 25. One thing: this is much faster to change your inch pounds rating. Okay, so that's 26 and that's 24. So we want 25. Just put it right into 26 and 24. And you got it. Pull that out. Uh, put in your bit holder. There's a click there you hear when it's in. And here's your number two square drive. You go like that. Okay, so there it is. Now I'll grab the breaker and put it in there. And there you go. Now, you do not get as good a torquing with this screwdriver as you do with this pistol grip. So the pistol grips 
real nice at the end when you're doing that torquing. It gives you extra power. This was better when you're just screwing it down. This is terrible when you're just screwing it down. The, the pistol grip is not good when you're just tightening something down. And <clears throat> I just noticed something. This thing just flew out the back. So that's not a good deal there. It usually stays in pretty good. But I, I was... I was screwing it hard that it flew out the back. Boy, you don't want to lose that. Okay, so so this one's like $102. It does not come with bits. It is not insulated. It is a very professional, excellent tool though. Okay, so this one has a bigger range. It is fully 1,000 volt insulated and it has slimline bits. It comes with, check this out. It comes with 13 bits. You got the Philips 1, you got the T20, you got the T15, you got the T10. Uh, this is your, this is your, what they call the Xeno number 2 bit right here. And this is Xeno number 1. Uh, that's like half Philips and half straight slot. And it's got three straight slots, different sizes. You got the Philips number 2 and you got the number 1 square. So you got a nice set of a slimline 1000 volt insulated bit okay so this that's really nice it does cost about two and a quarter okay that's about 225 dollars uh, today on Amazon this is 102 but there's no bits and it's not uh, 1000 volt insulated so if you're an electrician that changes out breakers you got to have a 1000 volt insulated tool if you work for me, I'm a licensed electrical contractor and nobody's going to work on a live electrical box without a thousand volt insulated tool, proper clothing, proper boots, proper gloves, uh, eye protection. You know, you use a thousand volt insulated tools if you work for me. So also another point is it's got these squared off areas where it sits there and it doesn't roll off the table on you. So uh, basically. You kind of get what you pay for. These are, these are both really nice tools. Uh, this one is a lot less money. This one you get a lot uh, more for your money. So that's it's kind of up to you. Um, I don't, you know, both these systems have their drawbacks. This has a tendency to fall out. <laughs> I just found that out. And uh, this is a separate tool. Just don't lose it. Uh, so basically, if you're going to work on live panels, this is the one you want right here. If you're going to work on uh, you know, setting up panels when the electricity is not on, uh, this one's going to be a good one. But this one has a larger range, and you need that 20 inch pounds that this one has. Sometimes you need 20 inch pounds, and this one just won't give it to you. 25 inch pounds is the lowest this goes. So. Uh, that's the difference. No, that's see them in action. Here we are at a load center, and I've marked what these uh, torque settings are supposed to be. Now, there's different torque settings for different size wire, and there's different torque settings for this large screw and the small screws. So, the large terminal at the with number six AWG wire is 45 inch pounds. So I've set the Wera to 45 inch pounds. And I'm going to tighten this down. See, it's not it's not really that handy uh, with the pistol grip until you get to the torque, and it's real nice. But it's, it's faster with a regular screwdriver. Okay, we're getting there. There. Okay, so we're torqued to 45 inch pounds right there. Okay, now this one right here is 25 inch pounds so now we're going to torque down the breaker i got my number two square and see here's the advantage to the wee you can just spin it like a regular screwdriver the the uh, pistol grip isn't as good for that there okay so that's torqued down to 25 now this one right here is 20. see the small screws are 20 so i'm going to have to change this 
This isn't the most convenient arrangement in the world, but it works. Okay. 24, 22, 20. All right, so that goes in there. Click. Take that out. See, this is the number two square. Now I'm going to put in uh, the medium sized straight slot, and we're at 20 now. This little screw right here is 20 inch pounds. So they so just tighten it in real quick. Okay, that's torque. So that's torque, that's torque, and that's torque. Uh, so there's an example of torquing with these two torque screwdrivers. So in conclusion, for my money, I'm going to take the Weeha. I like the extra range. I like the 1,000 volt insulated. I know it's more money, but for me, I'm going to go with the Weeha. For the lugs, you'll have to use a torque wrench. This is my AC Delco torque wrench, and the spec is 250 inch pounds. You can see I got 251 inch pounds this time. I'll put links for both these torque screwdrivers in my video description. I'll also put a link for my AC Delco torque wrench. Now these two together, the, the Weeha and the AC Delco, provide excellent coverage of all the torquing specifications in a normal panel. The best bit to use for the panel lugs would be a 5 16 inch extra long hex bit. You can also just use a regular hex head bit on the end of a 3 8 inch extension. The A and B lugs are 5 16 of an inch and the ground lug is 3 16 of an inch. I'll put a link for a 5 16 extra long hex bit with 3 8 inch drive. And I'll put a link for a set, a seven piece set of extra long hex bit with 3 8 inch drive. Also, I'll put a link for a Craftsman seven piece hex bit socket set. Also, I'll link to a video that I made about the 2020 NEC 110.14D code. It'll explain where I got all those torquing specifications and so forth. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.